Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Jonathan, and welcome back to Money Talks, where we want to offer you financial information and meet you where you are financially so that you're able to stick to your budget, manage to pay off your debt, and begin to save on your path to building wealth. Today, guys, I want to talk about how you can actually become a millionaire by just investing $100 a week. Now, sure, it could. if this is your first time joining me here on the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, and you'll be notified as I upload new videos. And if you like and enjoy this content, go ahead and hit that like button. It really helps me out. So I want to talk to you about when you think about your investing journey, how do you get started? And typically, why are people investing? It's to build wealth. But you can become a millionaire on just $100 a week. Now, the fact is, how the math typically breaks down with that is if you invest $100 a week in just a simple index fund, mutual fund, and it particularly grows over the next 40 years, that $100 a week will turn into a million dollars. But what I want you to think about is $100 a week. That's $15 a day. And while that's feasible, the fact is the consistency of putting that $100 a week every week for 52 weeks a year for 40 years might likely get interrupted by a thing called life. Yes, I want you to understand that it can be that simple. The second thing is I also want you to believe that it's the consistency that matters in your investing, not how much you are investing. The savings rate, how much can you save? And understand that as you grow in life, as your life changes, what you can save will change. Sometimes it'll decrease. Sometimes it'll increase. Sometimes you might not be able to save anything because of what season of life you're in and you have other priorities. But the fact is, if you can just get started, if you can start with just investing $100 a week and stay consistent on that, that will get you to a million dollars. The same thing can be applied. What what do you do with this hundred dollars a week? Well, the first thing you want to look at is a hundred dollars a week is essentially about four hundred dollars a month. Four hundred dollars a month allows anyone that's single to be able to put money into a Roth IRA where the max is six thousand dollars a year. The good thing about and the positive thing about this Roth IRA is the fact that since you're putting this money into a Roth IRA and it's every week or $400 a month or however you choose to do it, number one, you won't actually max out the Roth IRA. You'll only have about $4,800 in the year because it's 12 months in a year and 400 times 12 is 48. The Roth IRA allows you to contribute up to $6,000. So you still have room to grow and that's before you get to 59 and a half, 50, and once you get to that age, that's where you're able to withdraw. But once you get to 50, about 50, 51, you can do what's called the catch up option, and that allows you to contribute a little bit more to that Roth IRA. Why a Roth IRA, you say? Well, when you put money into a Roth IRA and it's invested, the growth of those dollars, which by the time you go to withdraw, if you start at 20 and now you're 60, the majority of that money, about 80% of that money, is going to be growth. The good thing about the Roth IRA is that you get to have all that money tax-free. So if you have that money into a traditional IRA, which most uh, 401k providers are putting money into your uh, traditional IRA, so it's pre-tax, the caution that you're going to have once you get to retirement is that you're going to pull that out and you're going to be applicable to whatever your tax rate is based off your income. So it's important to have different vehicles to help you set up a more healthy financial future. I'm not going to say you're going to avoid taxes altogether, but the more you can get in Roth will allow your tax rate to be fairly low and you can manage through those period that time where again like i say in my other videos if you have a million dollars in traditional you have a million dollars in Roth, 
and you have a million dollars in after tax, maybe a brokerage account or something of that nature, you can live most of your money, enjoy most of your money off the to the Roth IRA and the brokerage and then be taxed at a more at a smaller rate by pulling money out the traditional. It's just a way to actually get the money, but the whole thing you want to look at the tax efficiency. The other thing that I want to make you caution is it's a hundred dollars a week. What do you spend a hundred dollars a week on? Think about just the last week. What did you spend a hundred dollars a week? And it might not have been one thing in total. Maybe it was an aggregate of things. Maybe it was a multitude of things. What are ways that you can create a hundred dollars a week and start your investing journey? Can you cut back on eating out? Can you avoid maybe that coffee every day from Starbucks? What can you do? And if a hundred dollars a week might seem more of a stretch, what can you do to avoid $1,500, $15 a day, not $1,500, I apologize, but $15 a day. $15 a day can start you on your investing journey. $1 a day could do it, but $15 a day, what could you cut back on? What did you spend $15 on that when you think about it in the grand scheme of things, it really wasn't that big or that much of an emergency or that much of a need? I would encourage you to really look at your budget and see how that you can do things more efficiently. See, the thing about finances is we oftentimes make decisions and we start a program of fi financial journey and then we find out what's important. And so we have to shift the things that we were doing so that we can include all the areas that you need to do. You do need to spend. You do need to give. You do have bills you need to pay. That'll never change. But you also need to save money and you also need to invest money. And those things that we typically, the typically typical American does is we're consumers first before we're investors. So I want to encourage you. It's not that I'm trying to change your whole lifestyle. I want you to have a full lifestyle so that you can continue to do the things you love to do have the options that you want to have with your money, but then also have a piece of your financial picture that is continually growing. And the goal of that financial piece that's growing is that it you want it to outpace what you could potentially earn for yourself. That is a remarkable thing, meaning that your investments, the things and the decisions you made with your money can outpace the money that you are going out and earning. What a remarkable thing. And think about the lifestyle you have. Yes, I want you to dream. Yes, I want you to have a plan. I want you to do all those things. But when you do dream and when you do have a plan, I want you to act. I want you to really drive a line in the sand and say, hey, I need to save and invest. I need to make this a priority. And I want to make this a part of my financial life because that will yield me the opportunity to continue doing the other pieces of my life a lot easily and more of it, more giving, more spending time with family, more options that you can take advantage of because you have the financial means to do so. Again, $100 a week is not that much, but I also want you to think about, number one, Likely you won't be able to keep up $100 a week. What can you do to consistently do? Or can you set an automatic $15 a day? Or can you set an automatic $100? But at some point, especially if you're looking at a 40 year timeline, you may have a period where that just doesn't happen. The goal is to build that savings muscle and make savings a priority in your life. And once I can get, I can help you understand to save, I need you to understand that it's not the fact that you Save, I want you to go one step further and get that money invested. Invested in the stock market, invested in real estate, invested in things. But in this example, we're specifically talking about the stock market. I want you to get that money invested because if you do that, it can yield you solid results. Consistency and a savings rate are the two biggest factors in building wealth. It's not always about the income. But it's about the fact that you are committed to staying with the plan. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like it, again, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. 
I can't wait to see you guys in the next video.